I got an email uh, today from Amazon talking about toys and games. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you want to sell toys and games during the holiday season? Yes, you do. So you need to pay attention to what I'm going to show you. So I actually just basically copied the email and I'm going to walk through it with you because there are dates and there are specifics that you need to be aware of if you want to take maximum advantage of Q4, the holiday season selling toys and games. Hey, what is going on Amazon business owners and very soon to be Amazon business owners. Bob Schneck with you today from All Go Online Retail. And I tell you what, I cannot believe that I'm talking about this. And what I mean is Q4 is almost here. Where has this year gone? This whole Corona craziness. I cannot believe it. I got an email uh, today from Amazon talking about toys and games. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you want to sell toys and games during the holiday season? Yes, you do. So you need to pay attention to what I'm going to show you. So I actually just basically copied the email and I'm going to walk through it with you because there are dates and there are specifics that you need to be aware of if you want to take maximum advantage of Q4, the holiday season selling toys and games. So let me go ahead and pop on over to my, my uh, slideshow for you right here. And uh, again, it's crazy to me that we are already talking about this. Now, holiday selling requirements for toys and games. Now, let me read this to you. Holiday selling requirements will be implemented in toys and games this holiday season to maintain a positive customer experience on Amazon. Like you hear me say all the time, Amazon's focus is their buyers and they are going to do everything they need to do to make sure that buyer experience is awesome and they keep coming back and buying. And because of that, that sometimes puts us into a little bit of a situation where we have to do a little bit extra. Uh, sellers must meet the following performance criteria to be eligible to sell toys and games through seller fulfillment from November 2nd through January 3rd, 2021. If you do not maintain the criteria, you will not be able to fulfill orders directly this holiday season. All right, so let's pause for a second here. What am I doing talking about seller fulfill or what's known as FBM? Because you hear me preach and teach all the time, FBA, FBA, FBA. And I've got another video coming up with all the dates and restrictions for FBA, but I wanted to do this specific one because FBM is a valid opportunity during the holiday seasons because Amazon gets so jammed up and people are late getting products in, and it's hard to do it, and, and sellers run out of stock, and they can't restock, and so buyers end up turning to FBM. Sometimes Amazon even puts FBM sellers into the buy box. So this is something that you definitely want to look into. Uh, I've got several videos that talk all about how to use FBM as an advanced strategy to put even more cash in your pocket. But let me give you the criteria of what Amazon came out and said this week. Performance criteria based on seller fulfilled orders only, not fulfilled by Amazon. Now, that's a little misleading because there are uh, requirements and criteria for FBA sellers. There's definitely dates. And I do have another video that I'll be launching here probably in the next week that go over all of the criteria, all of the dates for FBM sellers. I just want you to be on top of this. I want you to be prepared for what is going to be a historic, a historic Q4 2020. Why? Because with all the Corona stuff going on, it more people are turning to uh, turning to online purchasing. Amazon, biggest seller out there. Not to mention that you hear today, 
that uh, Walmart, Best Buy, Target have all said they are not going to open on Thanksgiving Day. Oh my gosh, you know what that means for us online in Amazon that are prepared? And FBM is another opportunity. It is a little advanced and I can teach you how to do it, but still I want you to be prepared. Your first sale on Amazon must be prior to September 1st, 2020. So we have less than a month for that to take place. It does not need to be in the toys and games category, but you see what I'm saying? This is stuff that we've got to work on right now in order to be eligible to do this. You must have processed and shipped at least 25 uh, seller fulfilled orders or FBM orders by, or from August 15th, 2020 through October 14th. Okay, so remember, first sale's got to be by September 1st between the, the time frame of August 15th, which is coming up, and October 14th, all right? You've got about 60 days there. You have to process at least 25. And again, I've got some great videos on these so you can follow up. Uh, your pre-fulfillment cancellation rate must be no greater than 1.75% from September 15th through October 15th. Now, what does that mean? Well, with was seller fulfilled, right? If somebody comes in and orders a highlighter from you, you have the obligation to send it out to them, right? And what Amazon doesn't want to see you doing is you miscalculate your inventory, you go on vacation and forget about it. So your pre-cancellation rate means how often does the seller of an FBM product actually cancel the order before it gets fulfilled? It's got to be less than 1.75%. So as I always say, do it right every time. Uh, your late shipment rate must be no greater than 4% from September 5th, 2020 through October uh, 14th, 2020. Now, what does that mean? Late shipment rate. Okay, that doesn't mean does it arrive late at the customer because that's out of your control. What it means is that you wrap it, pack it, you take it and you ship it and you take that receipt and you put it into your seller central, the tracking number so that the buyer can actually track it and you do it on time. Okay, you got 48 business hours in which to get that done. As long as you do that, then you're good. Okay, number whatever this is, uh, your order defect rate must be no greater than 1% as of October 14th. Now, order defect rate, that's customer complaints, returns, you know, stuff that we just don't really want to deal with. So like I said, do it right every single time and you won't have to worry about that. And then finally, your performance does not meet criteria. We encourage you to take corrective action now to be able to sell through seller fulfillment, FBM, in the toys and games category during the holiday season. We've included the following suggestions. You can go look it up inside Seller Central. Here's the point. FBM during the fourth quarter actually becomes a huge opportunity. Like I said, I've taught all of our students that it's a little bit of an advanced strategy. Uh, there's tremendous value in it. And if you wanna learn how to do it, I'm happy to teach you how to do it but this is an opportunity you do not want to miss. I can't believe I'm talking about it. It seems like it's so far away. It seems like we just got done with last, the ho last holiday season, but it's upon us, right? It's upon us right now. We have got to get ready. We've got to take advantage of this opportunity to do some FBM during the holiday season because it's always an incredible opportunity to create a secondary source of income, another income stream coming in. Now, remember, I will be doing a video pretty quick on uh, the FBA criteria. When does, stu when does stuff have to be in? When should you start to ship it in? I've always told people, give yourself a couple of weeks from the time you order to the time that it gets to Amazon and goes live. That is now going to start to increase. Why? Because everybody it always waits to the last minute to get this stuff in. So do it, do it now. Uh, I'm excited about this. Hey, by the way, if you like this, if this was a little bit helpful to you, do me a favor down below, go ahead and click the like button and uh, hit the subscribe so that you can get that next video of all about the FBM dates and criteria and shipping and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll let you know as soon as that one comes out. Uh, it, and oh, here's the other thing. If, if you want to learn how to build a business on Amazon. I'm not talking selling products because anybody can do that. But if you want to learn a proven method of, of selling name brand products on Amazon, I am getting ready, preparing to do a live webinar in the next week or two. 
and I want to personally invite you to attend. Okay, I will be going step by step over the all go business model. How do you take advantage of the greatest opportunity of our lifetime? There will be the greatest transference of wealth in the history of the world in the next years to come, but you've got to plan and prepare right now. You've got to get ready. So if you want to learn how to do it, there's a link down below. Subscribe to the webinar. I will be live, okay? Not recorded. Uh, it will be live and I will be answering questions, right? So if you've got some questions right now, write them down so you don't forget, get yourself registered, show up to the webinar. Uh, the last time, uh, I actually took an hour and a half to do questions and answers with those that showed up. It's incredible. I would love to show you how to build a successful, profitable, sustainable Amazon business. Take advantage of the greatest opportunity of our lifetime. Once again, it's Bob Schneck. Thank you so much. I will see you online.